uh, I had only met Chris that day, so uh, you know, never had any experience working with him otherwise. I will say that I think he was dealt a bad hand, and, and let me elaborate why I think that. So we were set to do uh, a promo backstage, what we call a pre-tape, um, and I think I was, I was arguing with Teddy Long about being signed or you know, trying to earn my contract, something along the lines of the storyline was Armando had to win a match in order to get his contract because Teddy Long had fired me as acting general manager and decided that keeping me on as a WWE superstar at the dollars that I was paying myself was just too much. So if I wanted to earn a new contract, I had to win a match. So week after week, he'd put me against somebody new. And they started bringing in some new talent, right, because that ECW show was relatively new. And they would bring in some guys from OVW. And then in the case of, like, Chris Harris, right, a guy that had made a name for himself outside of the WWE world. So we had done this pre-tape over and over and over. The verbiage kept changing in the pre-tape. Not so much my verbiage but Chris's verbiage. Also, a lot of people don't know this, besides the few guys that were in that room doing the pre-tape, is they kept changing his name. So I think the name they settled on was Braden Walker. Yeah, that sound right? Walker. Braden Walker, yeah. But he had, had like two variations of that name in earlier pre-tapes. So here's a guy, brand new, uh, at least to WWE, they had changed his name at least twice, and they changed his promo at least twice. And we ended up, instead of doing a pre-tape, right, which is re- pre-recorded and then input into the show, we ended up doing a live take. So, you know, was it the, was it the best promo? No, probably not. Was it the worst promo? Trust me, I've heard so many more worse than, than what he delivered. Uh, and, and in all transparency, I don't think I gave him the best match that I could have given a new, a, a debuting baby face who you only get one chance to make a first impression. And if the first impression is meh, then you're going to be thought of as meh, however you sp- spell meh, right? So I think I could have given him a better match, and I didn't. That's That's a very interesting take. Yeah, he's... He's a very interesting uh, case to talk about because, I, I, as we talked about with him, he was a reverse jump, and he was one of the few that jumped from TNA to WWE. So he had a little bit of cachet right. coming his way, but I know he had been injured, and he kind of just, you know, he wasn't really feeling it right away. Like you said, they changed the name on him a couple of times. But to see what has gone on with the promo and kind of taking his character and just being a parody of what it was, you know, these Internet videos – have you ever seen the uh, the internet? You know the uh, the in the, really the early stages of YouTube. This is one of the most popular things. Is these Braden Walker videos? Have you ever uh, had the chance to view any of those? You know, I have. I've had people send them to me, and you know, and, and they're and they're they're funny. I just don't. Looking back, I just don't think the guy got a fair shake. I really don't. I, I um. I will say. Uh, he had been signed for quite some time, and he had been sitting at home, to my knowledge, uh, as evidenced by, you know, he had put on some weight and he wasn't performing. He was probably working with an extra 15, you know, pounds that he didn't have when he was in his uh, TNA heyday. So, you know, could he, have, could he have shown up in better shape? Sure. Could he have had maybe a little bit more enthusiasm or charisma? Sure. Could they have given him some better material to work with? Sure, right? I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. We can go back and pick it apart and say, well, you could have did this and you could have did that. But I was there, and I think that he didn't get a fair shake overall. I think he was gone within you know, six weeks or whatever. 